I uh, just want to do a video real fast and uh, this video is about um, approaching people who have properties that are listed on the MLS. In fact, not even approaching them, um, them approaching you. Uh, when you set up your marketing uh, to where you have all types of sellers, which is uh, one of my websites, um, attracts people who are looking to sell their land. And uh, this particular site, it could be land, it could be commercial, it could be residential, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Um, this particular property has been on the market um, for an extended period of time. So let me break down the deal. Um, the property is, is over five acres large in size. Um, it's here in Georgia. And um, uh, so the seller had just filled out uh, his information on my site and gave me the address and you know the particulars the information and that type of thing and, and on one of my uh, insert forms it says uh, is the property listed with an agent and they click yes so I went ahead I went online uh, this happened about maybe like 10 or 15 minutes ago I went ahead I went online to go ahead and check out the property listing this property has been listed for a little, a little over 500 days <laughs> So the property is over a year listed, uh, which is, you know, pretty common, you know, with land. Land is a different animal than houses. And one of the ways in which land sells or does not sell is price. And people list properties with agents that don't necessarily know what it is they're doing. And my first piece of advice is when you have a property that you're looking to sell, Find the expert in your town who knows how to price the property, who knows the particulars about the property. Don't just give them a listing. Don't just give them the listing. Uh, find out what is there. No, inter interview them. See what it is uh, they know about land in this case. Uh, or if your property is commercial or if it's an apartment complex, whatever it is. Hire the expert in that area in your town. Don't just go out and because your cousin has a real estate license or your friend has a real estate license. No, don't do that. Don't do that. And so with this particular property, um, property has been on the, on the market for over 500 days. And I saw the property has was first listed for around 40 grand. Then they dropped it. Then they dropped this. This property has had three price drops. This property is now <laughs> listed for around between tw uh, somewhere around 20, 25 grand. And the seller just contacted me and said that they would go ahead and take a price of somewhere around five or six grand. So let me go through that again. When they first listed the property, property is listed around 40 grand. That's over, over 500 days that it's been on the market. Okay. It's over a year. What, pushing on a year and a half, I think? Maybe a year and a half. I think it is out there, but somewhere around there. So anyways, um, when you're approached by sellers, when you have done a, a good enough marketing on your deals, uh, excuse me, on your uh, website or whatever the case may be, where sellers are contacting you because they're looking to sell their property, don't feel bad about this thing they call lowballing because all you're trying to do is fill them out for price. So the seller will go ahead and sell to me for somewhere around <laughs> uh, six or seven grand. Okay, so that's a that's a that's a steep discount from thirty nine grand. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll submit an offer even lower than that. It's not that the property doesn't have value; it has value, but it takes a specific buyer uh, to buy that property to develop it. To you know what I mean? So. You have to have an understanding of your product. Land is a different animal than anything else. You know, just like commercial is different from residential. Residential is different from apartment complexes or industrial, whatever that is. And so what I want to reiterate to many of you all is don't be afraid to lowball properties that are listed on the MLS. 
there's a lot of properties that go expired and people some people end up foreclosing on property some people end up pay, making double payments because they have to leave town uh, some people this every situation is different so don't be afraid and fearful of making lowball offers you know oftentimes what will happen is um, it'll take time for them to accept that offer okay so that's my point don't be afraid to make lowball offers on MLS listed properties. Don't be afraid to win an agent. I get agents that contact me. They need my advice. I'm not list. Uh, excuse me. I'm not a licensed agent. I'm a former agent, but I'm not an active licensed agent in Georgia. And some of them contact me because they need my advice. Why? Because they don't understand the product that they've marketed. Okay. So you all, you become the expert. This is Gerald. You all have a good one. Also, uh, be encouraged. If you're getting no's, keep getting those no's. You're just getting closer to a yes. This is Gerald. Have a good one.